In this lesson I want to um, discuss the new function in version 6 called Smart Views. <clears throat> in previous versions it was called Insert a Model View. Basically what we did, if I come over, I've now got my little floor plan drawn there, if I come over to one of my worksheets, I can then basically go to my smart view menu so basically you've got define a smart view insert a smart view update redefine update a smart view globally or delete unreferenced smart views if you don't have the um, smart view menu there then you'll find it under the insert menu and basically what you need to do is um, firstly define a smart view that you want these smart views as I said in the earlier versions that was called insert a model view so you should recognize this dialog box we can then set up the views that we want whether it be a floor plan elevations or sections so I basically want to zoom in on this dialog box and say that that's the view I want and then I can go through and say well okay the location I'm defining for a smart view is the ground floor I can select my predefined um, scale it's going to be inserted as a drawing and I want to then select the view filter and turn on and off the elements that I want to see in that view. Now the basic the way I do the training is I suggest that when you first come into here if you have multiple locations like I do the first thing I do is go display none because the all location tick is ticked so if I go display none it turns off everything on all the other locations then I untick the all locations and select the floor that I want the floor plan for and then go display all. With a smart view it's going to record what elements you have in this view. So basically if I define this smart view and then go back to my model and add columns and other objects that I haven't got in the in the um, in this smart view how, how it writes it to memory then you'd have to redefine the smart view so it's best if you finish your model off first and then define your smart views. I'll then go up to elements on terrain and say I don't want to see the terrain notations such as dimensions I want to see those so everything's okay there now so I can hit OK and basically that's the view I want so I'll go and insert that so that it goes onto my drawing I'll now do another one so I'll basically define another smart view and what I'll do is I'll define one of the elevations so I can define any elevation I like I might just define two of those so that's basically the elevation view I want which is elevation one one is to a hundred it's going to be inserted as a drawing I can then sort of um, filter out what I do want to see or what I don't want to see normally in elevations you have most things turned on um, but I like to see my elevations in a display mode of patterned so I just drop that one down if I click that you'll notice now that I've got brickwork on my walls and straight lines on my roof indicating color bond roofing so I can now go and insert that on my drawing right click and I'll repeat that so I'll just go and grab another elevation so we've got two here to show you so anyone you like just as again zoom in on that one is to a hundred it is going in as a drawing I want to set the display mode to pattern and I'll insert that now the beauty with um, smart views is now I can go back to my model and make changes that the client might want me to do so what I might do is I might just go into that roof and I'll change the property of the roof to a gable and the display the gable I'll tick that so it shows it's like hardy plank on the gable end that gives me one change notice I haven't got any doors so I might just go and throw some doors in there so I'll just put a small bifold door in there I'll put an entrance door over in here and I might put a, um, a let's see I might go a garage roller door and I'll put a garage roller door in here so that's made some changes to that to that model once I've done all the modifications to my model I can come back over to my worksheet and as you can see the smart views are, are there to be updated. One of the options under the smart views is this update smart view global. It will then pick up all the smart views that we have in our drawing 
and you can untick or tick the ones you want to um, update. So basically with the global one, they'll all be ticked to start off with, but if you just if you don't want one, you can untick it and it won't update it. Push the update button and you'll notice now behind the scene that that floor plan and the elevations will change. As you can see, the floor plan's changed and I've got my garage door and front door on the elevations. So basically, if I go through other sheets here in my template, you'll notice that on my floor plan I've got I've got the uh, floor plan updated and I've got elevations on both my elevation pages. So what you can have is you can have predefined smart views through your template. And that's how I've got it, which I'll show you in a moment. If I now <coughs> come back to my model, um, I can then I can then add an internal wall because what I want to show you is there's just a little thing that you need to be aware of when adding internal walls so basically on this side I'm going to add a wall from there across and down to here notice how that has changed the external dimension so if you watch the external dimensions um, video you'll notice that you can actually just replace those I'm just zooming in closer. Now I'm going to grab an external wall and you'll notice that that wall now is broken where the internal wall intersects it. Again over here if I touch this wall it has been broken where this vertical internal wall intersects the outside line. And that's what it does. With uh, my elevations now if I come back to my perspective sheet where I've got those elevations and do my global update what you will find is those elevation have lines that you don't want and that is the line where the internal walls are. As you can see on that bottom elevation I've now got an unwanted line. At the moment to get rid of that if you touch a, 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 a smart view you'll find it goes green just the same as what a block does and over to the right hand side you've got a, a definition where you can edit it. So if I push that edit button you'll notice that that Smart view has become active. Notice that it's got a rectangle around it and the elevation that was above it that was dark has now got grayed out. So I can now work on this elevation and just roll in close, grab that line that I don't want and come back out. It's modified now and then to get out of this you just hit escape. And notice now that my elevation is correct but it remains a smart view. You can explode a smart view, but notice if a smart view may be, <coughs> excuse me, smart view text and dimensions may need to be adjusted. So there are things that will happen to it if you explode it. If you do explode it, as you can see, it's now broken down into individual lines and the smart view update will not, not work. It's no longer a smart view, it's just a dumb 2D drawing. Now to just finish off, what I'd like to suggest is if I just close this drawing down and I'll just start up um, a fresh new template. Now to get smart with using smart views, what I've done is I've specified in my template a drawing area and that's what those blue lines are. Now those blue lines represent, if I come over to my ground floor plan, you'll notice that there's a house already on it and the house is as big as the drawing sheet. That vertical blue line on my model represents basically a line down here. So that if I draw on the left hand side of that line my house will fit in there. If I need to take up more area then I can start deleting this information off my sheet. So basically I've gone through to a, a floor plan a site plan is now set up with a, a already a, a site plan with um, 1 is to 200 and my two elevation sheets have got four elevations on it. And then what I did is I came back and I've deleted that model. Now that model basically had a house drawn over that area. So what, I, what I'm doing is I'm adding walls and roofs windows and doors, columns and members and everything else into the ground floor location with the size of a rectangular building there and then I went and defined 
my floor plans and elevations. Then coming back to the model, I could then grab all my model that I've drawn and delete it, leaving me a blank model area that I can then go and save as my template. So now what I can do is anytime I open up a blank template, I've already got my smart views defined on my worksheets and I can then just happily go through and then model up whatever house I want as long as it's within the area that I've defined go and put a, a, a roof on it now if I come over to my floor plan and go and grab the global smart view update I can then update it and everything happens straight away so you don't have to if I come to the elevation sheets you can notice that they're all done so basically what you have what you can do is set up a template so that you go through all your worksheets setting up your floor plans elevations and sections have those as predefined smart views then go back to your model and delete your model save it as your working drawing template and then once you start up a new drawing a new project just happily go and draw your project and come over to one of the worksheets and do your global update and every, basically everything bar a little ed editing on maybe your elevations or whatever is all you would need to do so it's a very big plus as far as time savings concerned in working drawings and basically if you have any questions please feel free to give me a call thank you